My family asked me to make the viral tomato feta pasta. Here we go. Okay, so I added a bunch of assorted tiny tomatoes and some garlic cloves to a baking dish. I added some kosher salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and some olive oil. I then added not one, but two blocks of feta cheese to the pan. I stayed with the original recipe and added some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning to the top of the cheese. And I added some garlic powder as if we didn't have enough garlic in this dish. I then added some tomato bouillon just for some extra flavor. And it kind of goes with this whole tomato vibe, you know? I added some more olive oil on top, but not as much as everyone else. And then I topped it off with some honey, which I saw in the original recipe. Okay, in the oven, 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. The cheese is kind of crispy on top, still soft on the bottom. The tomatoes and the garlic are cooked through into the oil. I decided to use the orecchietti pasta. I wanted a pasta that would really allow me to taste the sauce. And I want to tell you, if you make this pasta, it definitely goes through some serious transformations. So just keep stirring and don't get discouraged if it's not pretty at first. I then added some fresh chopped basil, which I really had to search and find because there seems to be a fresh basil and feta cheese shortage in the grocery store. So here's what we are looking like, guys. The final results of this creamy and cheesy pasta. You definitely need a light side salad or something because it is rich, but it is delicious. I say the tomato feta pasta was a success. Trust your girl.